Uh, guys, I have I I promised my audience I would talk about something briefly tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. I know both of you have have talked in some some way at least about the Vic Mignogna, uh, or as you call him, Vic Lasagna situation. Yes, um, Vic Montana. Vic Montana, yeah. So uh, they're they're in depositions, and I I have to talk about today. It'll, it'll take like five minutes. Uh, very, no, please very do, Nick. Please, for God's sake. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to hear this. I saw the whisperings of it, and I was like, oh, I hope he talks about this tonight. I'm I'm sure that's what happened. Uh, so here here's what uh, there. Ron Toye did show up for depositions today, and let me give you just a short rundown about what happened. Okay, uh, so the first thing that happened was actually a hearing. Um, prior to the deposition. And in this hearing, uh, Ron Toye and Monica Rial produced some sworn affidavits from people that are li likely inadmissible uh, and, and basically pointless. But they, they sent those to Ty's team last night, which is sort of a last-ditch, uh, last-minute effort to get some discovery to him prior to the depositions for Ron and Monica. So they sent those depositions uh, Ty went immediately and said, well, I'm going to release these. I'm going to, you know, I want the option to release these, um, what you call it, these, these affidavits, uh, to the public. And Casey immediately said, no, uh, we're not going to do that. And, and Ty said, of course, I'll redact the names because I've already agreed to redact the names, but you know, I can, I can certainly put these, uh, put these affidavits out there. Casey decided to say no again. So Ty said, all right, let's go to the judge. So they went to the judge and as absolutely predicted, uh, Ty just read Casey's own words about reading uh, or about uh, wanting everything public to the judge. And the judge said, are you asking me to put in a gag order because this isn't the procedure for a gag order? Casey said, well, no, we just don't want this stuff out there. And the judge said, well, if you don't want it out there, then they can withdraw their statements. But uh, you're not their lawyer. So if they want it quiet, maybe they should hire their own lawyers and their own lawyers can put a gag order on the stuff. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you don't you don't get to put something into a public lawsuit and then claim it to be private just because somebody doesn't want their name out there. If they're putting their name on this on this sworn testimony, then it goes out. So Ty absolutely uh, dominated that hearing. Um the real interesting part was when Casey tried to say that Ty asked uh, the Kiwi Farms uh, to dox to dox a bunch of witnesses, and uh, Ty, you know, simply said, "Well, first of all, the judge said, what is doxing?'" So that was great. <laughs> bad start. Uh, yeah, bad start. And so the you know Ty Ty Casey actually had to explain it to the judge, saying that uh, you know it's a release of information the judge is like what like private information or public because uh, 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 of course doxing almost public 99 of the time is public info but uh but uh, the the ultimate underlying thing is uh ty has never asked kiwi farms to dox anybody nor has ty asked anybody to be doxed uh we've talked about the legality of doxing and that it is likely legal and lawyers don't tend to care because we have to find identifying information about people just so we can serve them papers properly. But, um, uh, so does he say like, it would legally be really cool if Kiwi farms would dox this guy for me. No, no, he's, oh. ne he's never actually asked he for identifying information. What he did here's, here's specifically what he did. He was on a stream with me and this other lawyer who is uninvolved in the case, who is not a party or a lawyer in the case was, uh, was ripping on Ty's law firm. Um, from his apartment in North Carolina on Twitter. And uh, Ty and I were like, who is this guy? I said, I have no idea. And Ty said, do you think the farms would help us figure out who the hell this guy is? Now, his name is on Twitter. He's a he's a blue check mark. His name is T. Greg Doucette. Uh, what I, yeah. I contend that Ty was probably asking about what qualification does this person have to slag my law firm? And uh, so Ty explained that to the judge and said, I didn't ask for private information about this person at all, but I certainly had harsh words for some dumbass on Twitter uh, slagging my law firm and specifically attacking my clients just because I was their lawyer. Um, so uh, the judge, the judge basically said, shut up uh, to Casey about the whole doxing thing, because one, it's it's completely untrue. And Casey didn't have any evidence of it. And he said uh, that uh, any of those affidavits could be disclosed. Whether or not they will be remains an open question. But Casey doesn't get to just 
uh, bar those. So then they went on to deposition in which um, Ronald Toye uh, went through all, I think, 376 tweets that they presented to him and said, I don't recall if I made that tweet. So, uh, Dick, if you were shown a picture of your own tweet, would you say, I don't remember making that tweet? Well, it depends who's asking me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, the, the interesting thing is, um, there, there's some issues with those tweets, uh, not being authenticated and not being produced. That is likely going to cause problems for Ron Toye, um, they're they're clearly his. I mean, they they came from his Twitter account, and so uh, he regrets it now. Is I mean, is he trying to give the judge a? Uh, like, I don't, does that work? I don't know what his <laughs> plan is. I know that this is a bad plan because lying in deposition about making tweets and and again, if someone showed you four hundred tweets, one of them you probably remember. Yeah. So uh, lying about it in deposition is is not the best plan. But um, then. Uh, there was actually a lot of drama that happened in this deposition room, and I'm I'm not going to talk about all of it tonight. Uh, but let me just say, I was joking last night, saying that these guys hired a man because the women they didn't believe the women could do the depositions, uh, and so they hate women. That was that was me just making jokes about their legal team. But let me just suggest that uh, Casey Eric, super lawyer, Casey Eric, said something very very non pc and very sexist towards the female attorney from beard harris bullock and hughes <laughs> can you imagine th- dick can you imagine did he, what did he say did he say not one of you bitches know when vietnam is you shouldn't be able to vote did he say that i don't i did don't say, i don't know i wouldn't let a woman do surgery on me if my life depended on did he say something like that way way worse way worse women can't drive what? let here here we go i don't have if the exact have vaginas we'd throw them off a cliff did he say that no, no. i don't have the exact wording but now put yourself in the in the auspices of a PC warrior, okay? And would it ever be okay for a male lawyer to tell a female wor- lawyer you need to settle down? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Like uh first of all, no. Um you you tell a male lawyer he needs to settle down, he might kill you. Yeah. Um, but uh, but let's let's just say that Wait, was a. Nick, how much would you pay for a picture of that woman's face after he said that? Oh, I'm 100 percent sure I've seen that face about a million times. I don't need a picture <laughs> of that face. Any woman on earth, if I see them once, I know what that face looks like on them. Dick, did he preface it with? You see, we, when you tell a woman to settle down, you need about 10 minutes of calling them honey, sweet cheeks, baby yeah. doll before you <laughs> drop that bomb on them. That's what I do, but he didn't. He didn't. Uh, awesome. Now, this is the same woman who um, was in court with uh, with another male attorney at a different time. And that male attorney kept referring to her as a little girl. And uh, oh. she told the judge, Your Honor, if he refers to me as a little girl one more time, uh, one of us is going to leave this courtroom in a body bag. And it isn't <laughs> me. Uh, something like that. So. Uh, not a not a solid showing from Casey or Ron Toye today. Uh, absolutely, absolutely horrendous behavior towards opposing counsel, but lots of fireworks. Hopefully, hopefully someday we'll get a transcript of all of this and I can I can just show you guys or, uh, you know, something like that. But alas, we will have to wait. I don't have it today. Of course, they just did it. But uh, how, how hard is it to go to court and just deliver your information and your claims and not not do shit like that? Well, it's, that's what's it's, expected of people, right? It's deposition, too. So there's, you know, there's innumerable ways to take a pause during deposition. Like if you're on the witness stand in court, you have to ask the judge if you need a break or something. He's going to. But if you if you have a deposition, most of the time, counsel will say, you know what, if one of you guys needs a break or needs a minute, you know, just say something and we can go to the bathroom or whatever, because you're there for like six hours. But uh, are, they, are they trying to trick you up uh, the trip you up in a deposition? Like, oh, yeah. like if you're on the. Oh, they are still. A deposition is basically a cross examination that lasts six hours, and you have to answer every question, even if you have an objection to it. 
Jesus Christ. So, you know, like, uh, it doesn't matter what the thing is. What, what is your favorite porn to beat off to, Mr. Dick Masters? That, that, that question would be fine in a deposition. Oh, uh, you can be easy for him to answer too. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, uh, how much? No, tra- no, you know what? I'll take up the entire six hours if that's the first question. Oh wow! Let me see. Well, when I was thirteen, I first stumbled upon Usenet groups. <laughs> how much? I'm, a, I'm imagining like classical music playing in the background as you very eloquently <laughs> go over your entire history of human pornography. That question's now- going to cost you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Masterson, while you're while you're closing in on climax and you finally see the ball swing and realize this was a trap all along, how long did, <laughs> do you finish? <laughs> a trap's gay. Shut, Shut it Madison. down. This, oh, Shut it's it down. Over. This Shut interview it down. is over. Yeah. <laughs> are, but, these, uh, are these lawyers fucked? Like, is this Casey super lawyer, an exceptional lawyer? I I. I never like to say another attorney is bad. I will say right. that I question a whole lot of what he's doing. And I think based on my observation, they are uh, they're trying to run this game plan on the fly because they didn't plan for this to happen. 